What's going on guys, Rob from ClicksGeek, and in today's video I'm going to run through expanded text ads with you and how we write expanded text ads that actually pull phone calls. Because when it comes to Google Ads, and, and you know, the jury's out, but in our opinion, for every client we work on in our agency and everything else, we want the phone calls. We don't really want contact form submissions because the contact rate of getting those people back on the phone is much, much less than if someone just picks up the phone directly from your website and clicks the call or just clicks the call from the ad directly in Google. So these are the best types of leads that any business can get is inbound phone calls. So I'm gonna show you how to get these ads going that pull phone calls. So if we go into our demo account here, I think we're in uh, our fence contractor demo campaign we've been playing around in. So if we go into the ad group, we need to choose an ad group, we'll go into anyone. Let's do Let's do fence contractor. Ah, uh, no. Let's do. Yeah, let's do fence, fence installations, because that's gonna have some nice, <clears throat> high intense stuff in there. We come up here to ads and extensions, and we'll see all of our ads for this ad group. And always, as always, guys, you should have three to four ads per ad group. Now, normally, I would say that there should be two text ads expanded text ads like we're looking at right now and one responsive search ad this campaign was built a long time ago so i don't really have one in here so i just have three text ads just keep that in mind we're looking at it if you've seen my other videos and i'm talking i'm talking about responsive search ads you definitely should be using those and you know what maybe i'll just run through and we'll build one while i'm in here so first up the reason that we write our ads for for phone calls is because in most of the campaigns that we're running, we are only running on mobile devices and mobile traffic. We're usually, we're not doing call only though, so I, I should preface that we're not doing call only. We are doing um, regular search campaigns and then we are negative bidding 100% for desktop and tablet. And then we're increasing our mobile traffic bids or stuff like that. So we're only running mobile traffic. So that's something to keep in mind when you're designing your landing page and your ads for these types of uh, mobile campaigns. So if we come into edit here, you'll see all the fields you get with expanded text ads. You get three headlines. So basically you get three different call to actions here. You get your display path, which is another way to work your keyword for the ad group in there. Description one, description two, and then uh, that's pretty much it. And then you have some URL options down here for your tracking stuff, but that's more advanced stuff for another video. So this is how we're doing. This is what we're doing here. So this, so this, uh, this ad group is fence installation. So if we're doing something, we want to call out, you know, local fence contractor requests an onsite quote, and then it tells you the area they're serving. So if I want to do that though, maybe I, I could, I could mess around with this a little bit to talk about call for a quote or call to set up your quote. So I would change this. So let's go ahead and go to call to schedule your free quote ah doesn't fit call to schedule a free quote all right so now we have a call to action here telling them in the ad to call and we can even say something like click to call below if you wanted to not call out the location here in one of these ads because obviously all of the three ads they should be different. You're not going to want to have the same thing in every ad. So if we have this in other ads, we can just move this down here into the description maybe. So we'll do something like, <clears throat> also I would change this. These are not great ads, by the way. This was an like imported campaign that we've been playing around in for like literally hundreds of videos. So I've changed it a million times. But so we should probably, if this is a fence installation ad group, I'd say something like need a, need a fence installed. Need a new fence installed. Call to schedule a free quote. New Hampshire. So serving. We'll call it the location here. Serving New Hampshire. We'll get rid of Massachusetts. We're not going to be calling that all that stuff out. <laughs> new Hampshire plus more. All right, fencing installations. I would just change that to fence installations. We build and install fences, all types and styles, wood, vinyl, aluminum, and more. Click the number. 
click the phone number below to call us. So that could be a call to action because remember, the only people seeing this are going to be people on their cell phone. So it's going to look like this. All right. So obviously we got to tune this up a little bit, but we can get rid of all of this because we're just going for the uh, the kill shot here with the click to call. All right. So now we got our, this is our fence installation ad group. So we're going into an ad we're making design for phones. Need a new fence installed. Call to schedule a free quote. Serving. So we're we're telling them yes, we we install fences. I can give I can help you with your with your new fence. I can give you a quote right away. And guess what? We serve your location. Then we work our keyword again into the display URL. And then in the description, we're saying again, we're just reinforcing we build and install fences. Click the phone number below to call us. And if if I had a phone number, what's it called? A call extension set up, you would see it here. It's a big bar that has the call and they can click it to call. So that's important, but you're not going to see it here because I don't have it set up for this campaign. And then down here, schedule an on-site free estimate for your fencing project, local family-owned company. All right, so that would be pretty good. So we'd save that. You basically just want to mix up as many different variations of ads as possible because we want to see which ones. Google, I, I have auto-optimized turned on, I believe. Let's just check real quick for... Um, Ugh, I just booted myself out of here. All right, hold on one second. All right, so if we come down here, I just want to make sure we have auto. Okay, so we do. So if you have optimized prefer best performing ads, you're letting Google's algorithm actually go in and based on the metrics of the clicks, impressions, and CTR, and conversions, and all that stuff, it's going to decide which ad is the best performing ad for your campaign, and just continuously run that one over to loser ads. So that's something to keep in mind, and it's actually really cool, and it's definitely something you should be running in your campaigns. So if we go back to our fence installation ad group, you're going to see here, so we have the fence we just, uh, the ad we just created, and then we have our other two ads. So I would come up here, and we just start editing a second ad. And remember, we want each ad to be different with different hooks and different different stuff like that because um, we want Google to have a lot of fresh content to work with and to, uh, to run against each other so they can determine which one is the best converting one for us. And then obviously, you want to drop the losers after a certain amount of time. Usually, I'd say 30 days. But that's pretty much it when it comes to expanded text ads. It, in so it, it's hard though because a lot of people don't really do what we're doing. They they're designing their campaigns for desktop. So it's important to understand that if you're watching this video, it's going to be different. The way I'm I'm building these is going to be different than if I was building them for desktop. Okay, so we're building these ads specifically for mobile devices. These ads are not going to show on desktop. So that's important to keep in mind when you're designing your ads. I obviously wouldn't put click to call in an ad description if it was going to run on desktop because they're not going to be able to do that. You know what I mean? So it just has to make sense like that. But don't forget to subscribe to our channel. There's a little red button in the bottom right of this video. I hope this answered some of your questions about expanded text ads. It's really simple, guys. Three headlines, two descriptions. Just use all the space you can to call out your specific audience and make sure that when they go to a landing page, that the landing page is just talking about what's in your ads. It's really that simple. It's not that hard. And uh, you'll have you'll have those high conversion rates of 20% or higher. All right. So if you have any other questions, drop them in the comment section below this video. Also, I'll put some links in the description for you guys. So make sure you check those out.